Hey, 7B, <laughs> how are you? I'm uh, home today. Uh, actually, I gotta go to the doctor here in a minute, but I told the sub that I'd have something for you into a classroom. And uh, here it is. You guys are going on a trip. <clears throat> it seems like I just keep giving you money, but I'm gonna give you another $250 uh, to go on this trip and, and the sub's going to give you a sheet that explains all this or that has a kind of list that I just want to like, give, you, give you a heads up so, you know, so if I was in class I'd be able to explain the whole thing but here I am and uh, here I am at my house and um, kick and back chilling you know what I'm saying now I'm working on I'm making uh, a final exam for my human geography classes so there you go I'm not it's not a, not a day off for me um, but hopefully 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 I get my stitches out in about three hours, and uh, and that'll and then if that happens, then I got a clean bill of health. I'm back in the water, doing living my life as normal. So here it is. It's called road trip, and I want you to go with either by yourself, with one other person, or with two other persons. That's that's three total. And each time you uh, each day, uh, and it's a four day, three night, five hundred at least five hundred mile trip. You can go more than five hundred, but it costs you. And with the price of gas, oh my God. Um, I just heard this morning the price of gas right now, today, as of today, is the highest it's ever been in U.S. history. And so here's what I like to say. The paper I'm going to give you, or that you're going to get, will say, assume the gas is $3.07. That was from a year ago. Today, the highest ever in American history, $4.50. That's what the new national average is. So even though I'm, I know you can still find it cheaper around here, the national average is $4.50. Uh, so every 20 miles you go, you and you burn one gallon of gas. So that's 450 every 20 miles. So if you go 100 miles, you burn five gallons of gas. That's four, uh, five times 450, which is what 20, 20, 20. Well, you can you have a calculator, you figure it out 2250. I think that's right. 2250 every uh, every hundred. Check check my math, but I think that's right. Um, the other thing is I want you to go to every day, once every, so four times, uh, some fun activity that costs money. And the reason why I say costs money is that I want you to be able to look it up online and give information about it. So don't just say we went to a state park. Uh, say we went to this specific state park and went for a hike. Well, that doesn't cost money, does it? Yeah, uh, a parking. So, or maybe you go to like a, um, like a miniature golf that costs money. But all of these, everything you do, I want you to look up, look it up online. So you'll say we went to this miniature golf course, um, blah blah blah, and how much? And, and it'll say on their website like how much it costs. So use that as your figure. So you can combine all this money. Like if you went with three people, you have seven hundred fifty dollars. And a lot of the stuff you can share, like gasoline, you can share, lodging, you can share, uh, food, you can share, uh, um, admission into. Um, um, miniature golf can't share that so um, so kind of use it like that as far as food I want you to eat once a day at a restaurant and the same thing is applies at a at, at an actual place that you can look up online that has an address that is a specific place so if you say we had chick-fil-a for dinner that's okay but which chick-fil-a where was it go to the website find out the exact cost for whatever you order that kind of thing but you know what my advice is? Don't go to Chick-fil-A, don't go to McDonald's, go to some place that's unique. I mean, you're out, you know, you're, you're on the road, you're out, do, you know, seeing America. Don't go to the same old restaurant, it's the same everywhere. Go to like, you know, go to, let's say a small town <clears throat> and just say, like I live in Chapin, just say uh, restaurants in Chapin on Google and there'll be a hundred of them. So just pick one that looks good and say we went to whatever, Dan's Mighty Good Ribs or whatever, whatever you find. And, but look on the menu and put down the price of the exact dish that you get and identify the dish. So what you're doing is you're putting all this information into a slideshow of at least five, five slides. You can do more if you want. Some people tend to do it like pictures and information on one slide or maybe information on one slide, pictures on another. Um, there's a couple of things. What am I forgetting? Oh, YouTube clip. So find some YouTube clip. Let, let, let's just say we went to like the world's great biggest water slide. I think there's one in Kansas. Um, uh, so, and so go on YouTube, if you can do that, you probably have to do that, do that at home. Find a video that someone's posted about the world's largest um, water slide or what, whatever it is that you choose and post that as, as if it was you. And I know it's not you, but um, just post it. 
Um, and then, so you work on a Today in class along with that Upfront magazine. And also I'll give you some time in uh, class on Monday. We'll work on it as well. And then, so it'll be uh, due Wednesday. And so what you'll be doing is you'll be pre presenting it Wednesday. Have some fun with it, you know, say, you know, um, whatever, uh, whatever. Uh, Xavier uh, fell asleep at the wheel and, uh, well, that's not really funny, but that, that isn't funny. But, you know, so like put s s some funny stuff that may have happened. Of course, it's, you know, keep it within reason. The other thing is it's not very much money. And I did that on purpose. And in fact, when I did it, uh, it was gas at 307. So now it's more. So you actually have to squeeze less. But is that accurate? Yes, it's accurate. Believe me, not only does gas cost more, food costs more, restaurants cost more. But you're not, you don't have, this, you have the same amount of money. You can't, um, and you can't make any more money. You can't say, uh, whatever, we played the lottery and won a million dollars. Can't. Uh, we, uh, whatever, we stayed at um, someone's house, you know, and uh, they gave us money. No. Now, you could go to someone's house and stay there, but at least once on the three nights, I'd like you to stay at either a hotel or a, a campground. And same thing, one that's actually online. Tell us where it is. Tell us how much it costs, etc. Okay? But you can stay at people's house, you can sleep in the in the car, you know, in the parking lot at, at Walmart or whatever it is to choose, okay? So have fun with it and I'll see you. Oh, and oh, one other thing, one other thing. I'm gonna post this video in Google Classroom, but I'm also gonna post a video of a vlog that I was in, kind of. Um, I can't remember if I told you this, I don't think I did. But on um, Friday, I uh, this vlog I watch every day the, the, the guy lives in New Jersey, but they flew to Oak, uh, not to Oklahoma, flew to California and um, rented an RV and they're going up the coast. And he's well known, so he went, every place he goes, he, there's some sort of uh, promotional event. This is this one is at a uh, surf shop, and um, and uh, a friend of mine, I I saw that he was coming to her hometown, and I sent her a text. I says, "You gotta go. You gotta go to to see this guy. His name's Ben Gravy." And so she goes, you want me to FaceTime? She says, yeah, FaceTime. Well, she went and FaceTimed at me, standing there with him. And so you'll see in the vlog, it's somewhere around, I think it's around 19 minutes, 19 and a half minutes. Um, she, she's in there and he writes a, uh, a poster to me. Now, he, she calls me fish. So it says two fish. Um, but anyways, take a look at that. But it's fun. And you can, you can um, believe me, it's, it's, what is it, 25 minutes, something like that. You can, um, you can collapse it, you know, speed through. But take a look at, at me, okay? <laughs> or at least my friend talking to me. Um, so that might set the, set the tone for your trip. And just to give you an idea what it would be like to go on a, a car trip with, you know, one or two or three other people of your age, just going on the road with a bunch of uh, fun people. Okay, so I'll see you on Monday. I'm coming back Monday without my stitches, I hope. And I hope you have a good day. See ya.